And uh, this leads me to the next segment. Um, Faisal Masoud, founder and presenter of, and the president of AMCC, is going to provide us with some updates. And as you all know, AMCC's objective is to empower Muslim consumers and entrepreneurs, so it very much ties with the previous panel discussion. And um, before I give the mic, a mic to Faisal, I'd like to point out that there is a, a report, the Muslim uh, Green, which, about, which is about the Muslim uh, consumers in the United States. Uh, Dinar Standard produced this report in collaboration for the AMCC. And today only, and to this to conference attendees only, we're providing it for $100. And there's a table outside if you would like to purchase it, if you would like to take a look or ask any questions, it, it'll be available outside. Faisal Masoud. Jazakallah Reem. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon you. Can you guys hear me? I was only given five minutes to pitch to you about why AMCC and what is the need for us to advance the agenda of AMCC. So I'll take five minutes. It's a pitching competition like the, the afternoon, and, but I, I, I feel very passionate about AMCC. So back in 2009, when we started AMCC, we were talking about the $170 billion consumer market we started in a university, Rutgers University, 10 miles, 10, 15 miles from here. And, and we did not have um, you know, a vision. And we were only talking about the demand side. And you could see uh, Adnan Durrani, um, who at that time did not have Saffron Road. And, and um, maybe, I don't know, maybe he got the idea of Saffron Road at AMCC 2009. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And if he's in the audience, <laughs> and then he went and started AMCC, which is now, which sorry, the um, Saffron Road, which is now a forty million dollar company. Uh, in our study, uh, we just uh, did uh, it's a privately held company, and uh, we just approached them, and we found that um, the revenue, uh, they are a double digit growth track, and the revenue is almost uh, forty million dollar. So that was two thousand nine. In two thousand ten, we moved to a hotel, Hyatt Hotel. And we said, you know, yes, we can talk about demand side. What about the supply side? And supply are all the entrepreneurs who are sitting here who would create products for Muslim consumers. And that is where we see, we saw an integration of supply and demand. So we introduced the first entrepreneur showcase competition. And that competition was again, and um, you know, Adnan was very kind uh, to uh, lend uh, all the help, all the experience he had, and, and he uh, conveyed the, that uh, competition. And ever since, we have been getting 40 to 50 applications every year we do Entrepreneur Showcase competition. And I talked to a number of um, applicants. They don't even know how to make a business uh, plan. They don't know even, they don't even know how can they raise capital? The only thing they have is, I want to do business. And, and that's the passion which we really see in the young Muslim entrepreneurs. And that is, that is really very tangible and very uh, satisfying for us. In 2014, as we went ahead, we launched the first study, the Muslim Green, American Muslim Market Study, because it was time to work with an agency like Dinar Standard, and say, so listen, we have to get out in the market, in the mainstream market, and talk about what this market is. And so we launched the study in 2014, and we have published an updated version of this study, which is available outside. And if you, and, you, know, if you can um, afford it, please go ahead. Uh, normally, we sell at $14.95. We're selling at $100 to uh, the attendees. Coming back to the, the, the concept of innovation, the same year, 2013, 2014, we were at GIES, Global Islamic Economy Summit, which is a Dubai government initiative. And they called us because they knew about AMCC. They called us to talk about what is happening in American Muslim consumer market. 
And we were there, and we talked about the consumer market in America. In 2014, I was again invited as a um, Islamic economy leaders for a roundtable conference. And, and I went there and I said, listen, we have been hearing about halal, 1.7 billion consumer market. Where is the innovation? So I pitched them about innovation as to how the, the global Islamic economy needs innovation. And, and in 2015, which was last year, they invited us to do the first innovation for impact competition, which was totally focused on cloud computing, big data, and e-commerce, mobile computing, hyper-converged platform. And that was the whole concept. We said we have to bring innovation in, in, in the Islamic economy. We conducted the first competition. We gave $2,000 award. And that is the um, AMCC team with the $20,000 award, which went to Hajnet. This year, we got invited again to conduct the second innovation for impact competition. And, and I would be, you know, next week, the entire AMCC team is heading to Dubai. And, you know, we fly on Saturday night. And, and, and the, comp, the GIS is on October 11th and 12th. And, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to say that there is one company which I cannot announce. There is one company who would be presenting in the afternoon has been selected to be at uh, GIS. And, and that company, uh, you know, this morning I just got an email from Dubai government that I cannot disclose. I was going to disclose, but they have a press release and some protocol, so I can't, but, but it, you know, one of those companies is going to, G, to GIS. And so a lot of people have come and said, listen, you know, you've been doing this conference for six years. What is your structure? And are you a 501c3? Absolutely, we are a 501c3. Not a single penny goes in our pocket. We are a fully transparent organization. On the left side, you could see, um, um, these are the founding members, and they have been with us um, from day one. Um, Saad was in high school uh, when he started uh, uh, you know, working for AMCC, and now he has matured. He works for JP Morgan Chase now, but part-time uh, in the night, he works for AMCC. On the right side, um, we have brought more uh, uh, directors, and um, Amir Rahman, who is managing director of Fajr Capital, he's sitting here, and he has graciously accepted to join um, our board. And we have Arman Chaudhary. He's a well-qualified CPA. He's somewhere um, in the crowd, and he has uh, joined. And then we have uh, Mohammed Kauri, who is the managing director of Andalus Ca Capital. So we wanted to bring um, investors. We wanted to bring accountants. We wanted to bring seasoned professionals who could help us, because the whole concept is to now, how do we go from here to be more innovative? We have an independent and monitor um, and advisors, um, Salman Rawal, he's our legal advisor. Um, he is um, an independent um, uh, person who did not want to come on the board. But we are expanding our board. If you are interested, please reach, reach out to us. And, and, and we definitely want to talk to you. We have Wasi Rahman, who is our independent financial controller. Um, nothing goes, uh, any single penny does not go without his signature and, and a signature of um, a person on the board. So we are fairly transparent. Uh, we, are, you know, we want to share any financials, anything you would want about AMCC. And that is, that is the key element of what we are talking, ethic values. Um, and that, that, is, that is what we want to br bring it. So where do we go from here? So of course, you all heard about innovation for impact competition. We are heading next week in Dubai. And uh, one company um, later uh, who will be presenting is part of GIES uh, 2016. And we are exploring launch of innovation centers in major 11 Muslim market across USA. So what those innovation centers would be, would be a uh, um, shared space where we could bring our expertise of how we can offer help to young Muslim entrepreneurs or anyone who would want to align with faith, value, and innovation. That, that, is, that is the Islamic value. And the reason we selected 11 Muslim market is because of the last seven years, we have studied this market. And, and we know that um, these Muslim markets across USA have a need. So why not um, invest in those markets? And by the way, my whole purpose is to strategically place these innovation centers next to a mosque. 
Okay. So, so how can we integrate them? And this is, this, is, this is one of our passion, which we want to do it. AMCC is partnering with a major organization to organize ESC in Midwest, uh, which is uh, next year. And inshallah, if that deal is um, completed, uh, we would want to go to Midwest. And I was talking to Khaled, and, uh, and he has graciously accepted that, yes, any help in the valley um, you know, we, we could offer. And so th this is what AMCC is about. And we have a vision, and you know, my background um, is, is, is a failed entrepreneur, I would tell you. And, and, and that's good, because I've learned from experience, right? I've, I've, I've failed on many and, and that's what I can, I can, I can help you with. And so inshallah, Allah, uh, feel free to, um, to reach out to us. Um, you can reach at us at uh, um, info at AmericanMuslimConsumer.com. And thanks for your support. One more observation I wanted to add. When we started in 2009, 70% of this hall was filled with Gen Xers. 70%. Today, 70% of this hall is filled with millennials. So that is something we are doing right because we are handing the bandwagon to, or the baton to the millennials. And that is a very positive sign. So Jazakallah, feel proud that you are here. Feel proud that you are supporting this initiative. And inshallah ta'ala, we will do something together uh, with a vision which is much needed in this country. Jazakallah, thanks for listening.